Number seven. Number seven, he claims to be a sheikh. Like I said, for him to be a sheikh, he has to first of all have the knowledge. The knowledge to be a sheikh. Sheikh Imam will put, will put in the same category actually. Where did he study? Who did he study with? Where is this? What's, what's his transmission? What's it? Has he got a chain of transmission? Has he got a link to the shiuk of the past? What's his chain? You know what I mean? Is, does he have one? Doesn't he have one? Everyone has to have an origin. Everyone has to have someone that you go back to. With the info, whether it's information, whether it's knowledge or whatever. And if you don't, then your shaykh is shaytan. Now people say, oh, but it's, this is not a hadith, it's a saying. Well, it makes sense. If you did not learn from a shaykh who learned from his shaykh, who learned from his shaykh, who goes all the way back to way to Rasulullah who goes back to Jibreel alayhi salam, who goes back to um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you don't have that connection to that, to going back to Allah, who's your connection to? Think about it logically. Are they connected to Allah or are you connected to? Shaytan. So your shaykh is a shaytan, that's who you are, and your shaykh is shayatim.